Hey guys and welcome to another quick Pi video. In this video, I'm going to go over how to connect MotionEye motion detection capabilities into your Apple HomeKit setup. Many of you might have seen my previous videos on how to create a HomeKit camera using the Raspberry Pi. In those videos, I installed a software called MotionEye that allowed you to configure the camera on your Raspberry Pi. If you've not followed any of my previous videos on this topic, I'll leave the annotations on the screen now so you can follow these tutorials. The MotionEye software is also capable of motion detection and notifications. In this video, I will show you how to connect these software capabilities into Apple HomeKit. The prerequisites for this video are a MotionEye setup that is currently functioning and as well as a working hap-node.js setup. Links will be in the description on how to install all of this on your Raspberry Pi. If you have all the prerequisites fulfilled, let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is run the installation command. The installation command is curl space dash lowercase s capital S capital L space goo dot gl slash capital E lowercase t capital S lowercase r, capital T, lowercase g, space, vertical line, space, pseudo, space, bash. The command is on the screen. This command will approximately take two to four minutes depending on which Pi you're using and the internet service you have. Once the script finishes, you'll be greeted with the IP address of your Pi and the MotionEye web port. Just copy the IP address and the port and put it in to your web browser of choice. In my case, it's Safari. The MotionEye web configuration screen will open up and enter admin as the username and just click enter. This will allow you to access your MotionEye configuration. Click the menu button to open preferences. Make sure you have enabled advanced settings. Scroll down until you see motion detection. Turn that feature on. Once you have the feature on, you'll be greeted with a variety of parameters to tweak the motion detection. I like setting my frame change threshold to 20%, the motion gap to 5 seconds, captured before to 5 seconds, captured after to 5 seconds, and minimum motion frames to 3 frames. Also enable the show frame changes option. Next click on the Motion Notifications tab. The two things you want to enable are the Run a Command and as well as Run an End Command. In both of these text boxes, the first box you want to enter curl space localhost colon 9999 slash start capital motion. The command is on the screen. And in the second text box, you want to use a similar text, but you can copy that. But in my case, I'm retyping it. But you want to enter curl localhost colon 9999 slash end motion with the capital M. Once you've done all this, you can click apply. This will save the changes on your MotionEye and also restart the MotionEye software with the new parameters. Now we can go back to our Raspberry Pi and configure the accessory file. The command you want to run is cd hap nodejs slash accessories and just click enter. Run the ls command and make sure you have the hkmotioni underscore accessory.js. Let's open it with nano. Run the command sudo nano hkmotioni underscore accessory.js and click enter. This will open the accessory file in nano and we can edit the file. Scroll down to the line where it says var sensor name. This is the name of your motion sensor. Change it from the default, which I've set it to motion eye motion sensor. In my case, I'm changing it to quick pie motion sensor. Use control X to exit the file. Then click Y on your keyboard to save the file and you'll be able to exit nano and we can continue with the rest of the setup. Now that we've saved that file, run the command cd space dot dot 
this will get you to the main half-node.js directory and now we can run sudo node bridge core.js which will start the accessory file. Now let's move on to our iPhone and configure the accessory. If you've used any of my previous bridge core.js tutorials and also configured the auto restart scripts, just restart your Pi for the new motion sensor accessory to show up in your HomeKit configuration. For those of you who might have not followed any of my HomeKit accessory tutorials, I'll show you now how to pair and as well as configure your new motion sensor in the Home app on your iPhone or iPad. Okay, now we're in the Home app on my iPhone. The first thing you want to do is click the plus button and then click add accessory. Click don't have a code or can't scan. Select node bridge. Click add anyway and then enter the code 03145154. You'll see a loading screen and then a blue check mark. Just click next. And then once you reach the motion sensor, Select the room that you have the camera set in. So in my case, that's the main room and then click done. Now you can see the camera and motion sensor are both uh, visible. Go over to the rooms section and go into your default room with the motion sensor. So that's main force touch on the motion sensor button and then click settings. Scroll down to status and notifications and enable the allow notifications then click back and then click done and you can tap out of the screen. Now when I wave my hand over the motion sensor, you're going to see the, it's, the alarm's been triggered and you're going to see a notification pop up and that's how the whole system is supposed to work. So now whenever motion eye detects any motion in your camera view, it'll automatically send you a notification through HomeKit. If you tap on the notification, it'll actually enter the live view of the screen. So if you have a newer and faster Raspberry Pi, the view will open almost instantly. But if you have a Raspberry Pi Zero or an older Raspberry Pi, like a Raspberry Pi Model B Plus version 1, it'll take a few seconds to load the live uh, feed. Guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If I wasn't able to reach out to you in the comments, you can also DM me on my Twitter and I'll be sure to help you out if you have any issues with this tutorial. Guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.